Okay, so we're about to do the speediest haul that there ever was because I have like 15 minutes and then I need to get back to working and prepping birthday stuff before I have to get Coco from school. So let's do this. Okay, I actually look pretty insane because <laughs> I've been um, working this morning, wrapping presents, cleaning up. I had to run to get my eyebrows waxed and tinted. They look actually kind of good, but the rest of my face still looks crazy. So. Bear with me, but we're gonna go through these packages really quick and then I'll try everything on. Most of this stuff is things or items that I'm gonna be taking um, to Dallas for like my company Christmas party and like a few other items that I need to pick up from Zara, Forever 21, or uh, this weekend. I'll probably do that tomorrow just because today I have a lot of things to do and I have a lash appointment um, this afternoon, which I feel like we all know takes about three hours. So let's get to it. I feel like I probably should have got scissors or something. I have always struggled with this. So this first one is from um, Cuff. They are a like full range like undergarments, like bras and stuff. They had a really good Black Friday sale. Um, I like them because they don't limit their sizes. So like as someone who is larger chested, it's hard to find like nice bras. I feel like they make them look kind of like matronly if that's the word but cup has like really great quality stuff it is pretty pricey so when they have a deal um it's good to like buy a few items because they'll last you a really long time and the fit is amazing i just got two i bought two matching sets um and they ship them separately so i got this like pink balconette bra what is it called balcony i don't know um yeah mesh balconette bra i got the matching underwears but they haven't shipped those yet uh, and then i also got it in like this leopard print with the matching underwear as well um yeah i feel like it's pretty oh that's not the right way <laughs> pretty self-explanatory their underwear and bras but they're really good quality and the fit is really comfortable so I definitely recommend it and their motto is we support you which like that's real cute okay next i also did some black friday shopping on casa bella if you know me i've probably told you at some point that you should be buying your underwear from casa bella their soiree soiree line um specifically it's like a mesh material the most comfortable underwear in the world i've honestly exclusively bought them I discovered them at, back at Fred Siegel in like 2009 or 2010, like a really long time ago and completely converted. Like they're the only underwear I buy. Um, I did buy the cup one just because like they match and I feel like that helps me sometimes. I just like need things that go together. It's easy to grab a set, like a workout set, an underwear set, what have you, a legging and top set. Um, but if it's like on a day-to-day -day basis, these are like my go-to. They are so comfortable. They also do have an extended size range. So, um, girls that are larger chested or curvier, they have you covered. They are pretty pricey. So again, one of those staples that I tend to buy during like Black Friday, Labor Day, whenever they're having a sale. Um, Cosabo is really cool, cool because you can buy them through a lot of third party sites. So like Bloomingdale, Saks, Nordstrom's, Shopbop. Um, you can get them on Amazon. They pretty much are sold any and everywhere that you can buy women's, um, underwear. And you can find really good deals on them, but obviously their site has like the biggest variety, etc. I basically just bought like all the colors and patterns they had in my size, in the style that I like. Um, I don't really care what they look like, nobody's gonna see them, you know. I just want to make sure they're um, comfortable, and I will. I'll spare you going through all of them, but I will open one just so you can like get the gist of the product. Um, they're also made in Italy. Shout out to Italy. So they're kind of fancy. 
um, but they're just really great. Like they're so amazing. They wear really well. It's like everything I like to be like barely there second skin. I don't know if you've noticed that. So like these definitely do the job. So you can see they're like mesh. This is like, they have a G string thong, um, brief like they have all the different styles but this soiree line specifically is the one that's like mesh and it's so comfortable chef's kiss 10 out of 10 if you don't buy anything else try these they will change your undergarment life i feel like i feel like underwear is one of those things that like you don't think about like re-upping and like buying new ones until like absolutely need them and you're like oh my god these underwear have been sitting in here for like two or three or like since high school or something like that like you should be underwear and like your skincare and your toothbrush like all those hygienic things that are really close to your body or go inside of your body you should be updating pretty quickly like i try to do it like twice a year at least or something like just revamp your underwear i also got two packages in from opali i feel like at this juncture we've already just discovered that like most of this is going to me trying to open packages this first package is a pair of faux leather pants um my company is having a christmas party next week in dallas which is why i'm getting like some new stuff because it's rock themed, which is not really on brand for our company so um We'll see how that goes. I don't know if there's going to be a concert or like what the vibe is going to be, but they also sent out a separate email that just had like outfit inspiration, like leather pants, motorcycle jackets, BNTs, Doc Martin vans, like um, fishnets, that sort of thing. So I got these faux leather, like, um, they're kind of like leggings, but they flare at the bottom. We will see if they fit. I got them from O Poly because they have, um, they offer like a tall and petite range, I'm sure. So it's great that I could buy the pants. They won't be too long, so I don't have to worry about getting them hemmed or anything because I don't have a ton of time. Um, so yeah, I'll try these on and like put a clip here. Um, I don't know if I'll ever wear these again. So if they don't fit, I might just like wear black jeans or something and save the money, but we'll see. When I got the scissors and stop being so lazy. Hold on, I have to let my cat in. Anyone else's cat like this, like he wants to get out of the room as soon as I close the door and then two seconds later he wants to come back in. Like, do you want to be a part or do you want to go do your own thing? You know? These are tweed wide leg cargo pants. Sorry. Um, that I also got from Oh Polly. They were actually out of stock. Um in the petite range across almost all the sizes except like a zero <laughs> like we're not fitting in um but i bought the matching corset a few weeks back and i saw the pants came back in stock so i wanted to get them just to have as a set i'm probably also going to take them to dallas because we have like work dinners and that sort of thing and i felt like it would be cute to wear um like the matching set and just throw a blazer on the side they are like an ivory cream tweed i don't know if you can see that um, they are petite. They have like the cargo pockets on the side. They need to be like taken out of the bag and refreshed because they're a little bit wrinkly. Um, but super, super cute. And I actually have the, the corset here as well. So it's just like your standard corset top in the same like cream ivory color. Um, in a tweed, it has a zip back and like the gold hardware on it. Super, super, super cute. I feel like this is so figure flattering. Um, so I'm gonna try all these on and I'll insert that here and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so first up is this tweed set from O Polly. Um, I feel like honestly, I could have sized down in both of these items. I can't remember if I got these pants in a six or an eight. I think I got the top in an eight and I was nervous because you know, like tweed material historically is not very forgiving. Um, and so I was worried that it would be like a little bit too tight, but like I have some room. So I think I'll probably just end up getting this taken in like at the tailor or something. Um, the top is also like a little roomy. I'd like it to be like, you know, snatched, but I also don't have any proper undergarments right now. But this is what it looks like. Super, super cute. Um, 
overall it fits really well i mean tighten the straps the length of the pants i'll show you guys i'll do like a in the mirror i'll show you the bottom but um they i'm saying on my tippy toes right now i'm actually like so short um but the pants are just a little bit long but like once you put a heel on i think they will um, be just exactly the perfect length and then I grabbed a black blazer because this is probably how I'll end up like wearing it oh, that was like not smooth at all but you know something like this probably grab a little clutch let me get a clutch so I can give you like the full view a little clutch this is like a vintage your clutch that I've had forever so I can't link it but I will link everything else but if I find anything similar I will put it up um, but yeah, like a little clutch and then I have some burgundy velvet like platform shoes from Aquazura that I'll probably wear with it because I might end up wearing that with my leather rocker outfit also. Um, and then, you know, like a sleek pony or something. Very cute, easy. I feel like that's why I love sets because I feel like it's just so easy. It's a no brainer and then always have a classic black blazer with you. Um, Salem is going after me right now because... <laughs> You have to keep the tags on these clothes until you try them on, unless you want to return them. There's like a big ribbon that goes all the way around, loops all the way around the pants, and he's going for it. So I have to take this off, but super cute. I love this. I would just say if you're between sizes, um, either order the two sizes, try them on and then return it, or size down, because they are a little more forgiving than I would imagine for a standard tweed. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I. I'm not really feeling these pants. Um, like the tweed pants, size up or size down. These black leather pants. Um, if you're hippie, I just don't even really know what to say. <laughs> they're just like not very well fitting. Like what? They're like suffocating me. This is like not flattering. At why is that happening? I feel like they weren't made for people who have like a large hip or butt area there's like a zipper right here on the side and there um it's like kind of a cheap zipper not gonna lie the pants feel kind of cheap themselves I'm really glad I tried them on right now because I need to find backup pants um or like a skirt or something so I'll probably be doing that this weekend when I go to Zara to pick up my other order because I need a bottom to go with it I also got um I'm just trying it on with this black like sports bra right now because I don't have the top but I got like a vintage band tee like it's cropped basically that was the vision i'll show you the jacket um so here's the jacket i mean it's kind of cute with the jacket i guess if the pants if the shirt covered this part that would be cute also like i don't really put my arms in the sleeves of things y'all get to y'all get used to that um but this jacket i actually already had and i've never worn it i got it like i don't know maybe two or three years ago from revolve i believe it's by camilla oh hello polo i don't know how to say it but i don't think they have this color anymore but i did see it in stock on revolve with like a light blue sleeve or they have one that's like a burnt orange color like the, the jacket body itself is um a burnt orange and the sleeves are also burnt orange super super cute i've been waiting to wear this jacket and i feel like this is the only moment i'll ever have because i was getting ready to sell it on poshmark because it's just like it's sitting in my closet um but this is what it looks like and then I, I don't normally do about these pants um they're not terrible they're just not super comfortable you know like I thought they would be a little more forgiving and like stretchy and they're not like I don't know like it's fine for the party I guess I'm I'm gonna keep them I'm gonna bring them but I'm also gonna find just like black straight leg pants um or like I have a denim skirt that might work and then I'll bring my like knee high black boots or something like that um because they look fine like when my midriff isn't showing but like in general this top part isn't really comfortable like that doesn't feel very good and I feel like I have like a pretty small waist area but it's like really aggressively like cutting off my circulation right now like there's not much stretch at all um so I don't imagine like being in this the whole night will be super comfortable but I'm gonna see what it looks like with the shirt I'm gonna get a backup bottom just in case and then we'll see what the night holds but yeah these are the packages I had um I'm gonna go do a little bit more work and like try to sort things out and organize for the birthday I still need to get candy for the pinata I still need to 
get all of the like food and stuff like I'm probably gonna do like a fruit tray or some charcuterie or something like that we're not having a ton of people over but like when you're hosting you still want to have all of that stuff ready um so yeah well thanks for watching guys I feel like I actually haven't like said much on the vlog yet so good morning everybody I hope all is well it is Thursday afternoon it's just about one o'clock in the afternoon um this morning I've been wrapping presents cleaning working I went to get my eyebrows waxed and tinted my hair still looking crazy my skin is a hot mess but we're still on project glow up so we'll take care of that sooner than later um but just wanted to pop in say hi um i had to do a few try-ons for some packages i got um yeah and i'm gonna get coco a little bit early from school today because i have a lash appointment this afternoon at 3 30 um so i'm gonna do about another hour or two of like really dedicated work um try to clean really quickly like the entryway and just get some packages out of the way because my mom will be here tomorrow and let the party planning commence pray for me and just like that lashes are done oh my gosh she did such a good job i feel like a totally different person when my lashes are done it's like insanity of course it's pitch black i came out here and it was so bright i had sunglasses on and now it looks like it's midnight i love your dress and your rain boots oh my goodness
December 12th. Sorry, I really had to think about that. I forgot what day it is. But um, I'm off work today because my mom and my niece are still in town. And I'm going to Dallas for work later this week. So I had a bunch of like errands and stuff to do. Um, I just left the house to grab some coffee because it's been like birthday party central at my house. I'm so it was a really good time, but like I'm also glad that it's over just because I'm so tired. I started taking down the decorations this morning. Um, also, like no one told me about this three nature thing. Like my daughter has literally been um, difficult lately. Like she's getting her back molars in, so she's teething again, which is insane. And then she's just been like fussy and having a cold and like overwhelmed with the party and all the people and stuff. Um, but anyways, I just picked up some Starbucks and um, I have a nail appointment. I'm actually here a little bit early, a few minutes. So I'm just waiting for them to open up um, because I've had these pink claws for so long. They're so outgrown. I'm just like ready to take them off. But yeah, I'm going to head in get my nails done. I got my lashes and my brows done finally. Um, I need to tan today. I need to do laundry. I need to pack. So we'll be doing a lot of that this week and then I'll be in Dallas, which will be a really good time. You say nothing's wrong at all, baby. I say that we're falling off, baby. Maybe we just ain't been on the 